Hello, hello. Okay. Today is day one of the Decide to Shine three day boot camp. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm going to share this to my group. It is so awesome. If you are not in the practical spirituality, oops, I shared it to myself. That's not what I wanted to do. If you are not in practical spirituality for the modern girl, get yourself in there. Send a request and I will get you in. Okay. Still need that. Let's see here. <laughs> so when you're here, say hello and tell me if you're watching live, if you're watching the replay. Let's see. Practical. Oh, I can share it to the events that I made too. Awesome. Okay. So let me know. Um, <clears throat> say hi when you're here. Uh, decide to shine. Woo. Okay. I think I got it all shared when I needed to. Close this off. Let's see. Okay. So today is day one of our Decide to Shine three-day boot camp, and oh my gosh, I am so excited about it. The reason that I decided that I wanted to create this boot camp and do a three-day event to really like drill down into making this decision to change your life is because people overcomplicate it so often. <laughs> Just playing with this toy. It's squeaking. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> and we get this idea that we have to do like so many things to be able to, you know, shift our life and shift our life and um, create, you know, a real change that will last. And the truth is, it's really not as complicated as we make it. It's much simpler. So when we are deciding that we want to really shift things. It really is about a decision. And by the end of these three days, that's what we're going to come to. Yeah. So this is day one. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are on the group, these will be in the emails that I'm sending out. So you guys can have the video forever. You're welcome. So day one, discovering who you truly are. Now I'm sure you're like, uh, a Robin, I already know myself. I know who I am. <laughs> Let me tell you, my friends, I thought I knew who I was. And, you know, for the most part, I knew most of it. But there was a lot that I didn't know about myself. There was a lot that I discovered over the last few years of really diving into this personal development, connecting with my higher self, and creating this life that I didn't, I could only dream of before. And part of doing that is starting to really see the qualities and the, the, um, the emotional attributes and things that you aspire to. It's starting to really look at these things and put them down on paper so you can really see what these qualities are about yourself. So hi guys, if you're joining, say hi, drop me a comment, say hello. Let me know if you're watching live or the replay. I want to make sure I welcome everybody here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some time tonight to really set out exactly who we think we are. There's going to be a couple of journaling exercises, so we'll, I'll save that for the end. Hey, Heather. Hi. I'm so glad that you can make it. So, you know, when I used to sit in my cubicle, I worked in a corporate office, corporate environment for 13 years and longer if you consider like the temp jobs that I had in other places. But, you know, I would sit in a cubicle and I would process paper and I would, and I would, you know, be at someone's beck and call, never really deciding for myself what I wanted to do. And I thought, you know, I knew really who I was. I was like, well, I'm this girl that's, you know, has this job and I have this husband and we live in this place and I like to do this and that's who I am. I like these TV shows. This is the kind of food I like. There is so much more on a deeper level 
than you can possibly imagine when you really start to focus in and draw that part out of you. So what I would like you guys to do, and this is going to be a short video if, um, you know, unless you guys have questions, so I'm not going to take up a whole lot of time, but what I want you to do is you're going to get out two sheets of paper. On one sheet of paper, you're going to write out all of the things that you are now, like your job, your family, your friends, the shows you like to watch, the places you like to go, the food you like to eat, the books you like to read. I want you to write out all of those things. The surface level, top of the tip of the iceberg part is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm glad you're here too, Heather. And then once you have that all laid out, I want you to take your second piece of paper and I want you to write out all the ways you want to feel. Okay, the top half is going to be where you how you feel now. The bottom half is going to be what you want to feel. So the top half is going to be, you know, possibly negative things because it's stuff that maybe we don't want to stay in. The bottom half is where we're going to get to dream. This is where I want you to lay out all of your desires of the kind of person you want to be and the way you want to feel about your life. I want you to write out all of the dreams you have of like the type of life you want to live, the places you want to go, the uh, job you want to have, the career you want to have, the house you want to live in, the car you want to drive, the people you want to spend your time with. I want you to really start to dive into the possible, the possibilities of what your future could be, what your life could be. And I want you to just dream big. Don't say, oh, but that could never happen because of this. And like, I don't have, you know, the money for that or blah, blah, blah. That part doesn't matter. This is a dream space. So first thing is, you know, who you are now, everything about you now. Second page is the top half is how you feel now. The bottom half is how everything that you want to create. And I want to challenge you to then share these, you know, in the comments here or uh, in my personal page, you can message me, whatever works for you. Make your, but make it something that you're sharing so that you're accountable for what you're doing and somebody can like see you and support you and love you. Because I will be honest, we cannot do this alone when we're not meant to. We're not meant to. Our culture has like kind of made us feel like we have to be totally isolated. And if we can't do and achieve everything on, on our own without anybody's help, then it's like a not, not a worthy achievement. We're busting that paradigm. It's not true. It's not true. We are creatures of community and comfort and we are here to support and love each other. So that's, you know, when, you, when we're going through these exercises, that's why I want to encourage you to share, to show up, to allow yourself to receive support and to give support as well. So you can either post them to my page, put them in the comments, or send them to me privately, post them in my group, whatever it is that's going to work for you. Because I really want you to see that when you put yourself and your dreams out there, you are going to receive so much love and support. And that's going to help propel us into day two and the next thing that we're going to do. So do you have any questions? <laughs> Hunty Bunty, you don't get to ask questions, you're a dog. <laughs> you guys have any questions about this process? Oh, hey, Teal. Hi, Sherry. You missed the beginning. Well, the beginning was, you know, catch it. Just go back and watch the replay. It'll be here forever. So, and I'm going to be sending Teal, if you're on the email list, I'm sending out the videos, the links in the emails. So you guys will get that too. And if you want to make sure you're on the email list, just, um, I'll put the link in the bottom here and you can just get on the email list too. So you won't miss any of them in case you can't be live with me. Um, and if anything is coming up through this process that you were like resistant, still just write it down. Even if it's something you don't want to look at, if it's something you don't want to admit about yourself, still just write it down because let me tell you what happens when we do that. You come to a vulnerable place but it's like taking a weight off your shoulders. You've been holding on to the stress of the secret of this thing that you don't particularly like. When you put it out there, it doesn't control you anymore. It takes all the power away from it and gives it back to you. And I want you to give that gift to yourself. I want you to allow yourself the freedom of, of really exploring raw and dirty all of the things and then shift immediately into the big, beautiful, wonderful dream. Does this sound 
good for you guys yeah give me some hearts or some likes if you do while i drink some of this cold pressed juice yeah oh i love your little unicorn heather this one is so good it's cucumber pear pears kale pineapple lemon and spinach so good okay awesome so reach out to me if you are coming up against anything that you are like oh i don't want to don't want to look at this just message me i'll help you walk through it i think i have green juice on my face <laughs> and i'll help you um, move through that because we're here to transform and this is just day one so don't get stuck here without asking for help but also explore be playful and imaginative go into a space of like your real heart's desire and start to see exactly what is inside that you know you have the thoughts moving around but when you write them down and you see them all together it solidifies it in a way in your body in your mind in your heart that it has never been solidified before it's really powerful and i really hope you enjoy this exercise so my loves does anyone have any questions before i let you go yeah that's a dog walking behind me hi puppy i've been gone all day so he's like really excited mommy had lots of appointments baby dog so okay you guys it doesn't look like anyone has any questions right now but remember as anything is coming up just feel free to reach out to me post in the group and I am so proud that you are here and so grateful to spend this time with you. I love you all. Have a great night. Bye.